welcome back to Anime Cons TV. We're talking with Fred Shaw today, who has been with anime conventions since before there were anime conventions in, in uh, North America and everything like that. And you've kind of come in from a kind of a really interesting angle as kind of both a fan and a scholar. So what do you see as uh, kind of the genesis of anime conventions? Like, Well, I'm not a historian um, <laughs> and I'm not an expert on or at least I'm not a historian about uh, anime conventions, but from my perspective, the, the first people I met who were part of the whole early fandom were the CFO people, uh, especially in LA, uh, around like Fred Patton and Robin Lyden and people like that. Uh, and I met some of them, I guess I was 79, and I had never met people like that before. Uh, it was almost scary. I had never met people who were so dedicated to uh, pop, uh, pop, an aspect of popular culture, and but that energy, I think, is what got it going, and it grew out, and it and it, 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 it outgrew some of the panels in the sci-fi conventions and the other conventions that were in existence, and, and gradually got bigger and bigger until you had these autonomous anime-focused conventions. Uh, in, starting in the Bay Area, and then it's just been amazing to see how it's grown exponentially. And now I'm, I'm just amazed because there's, there's conventions everywhere in America. Uh, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but maybe most of the big cities and uh, certainly the, the main, major regions of America. And I'm just amazed to see how it's, how it's grown. Yeah, it's grown. Yeah. Um, on that note, what do you see as kind of the biggest change from the beginning to kind of modern day, anything good or bad, just kind of as the fandom has evolved? Um, well, if you were to take a slice of average convention goers, it's much more of a normal representation of the population than it used to be. In the beginning, it was almost all uh, young males. And I, I shouldn't say young, because many of them were in their 30s and even early 40s, uh, but it was almost all or seemed almost all males and I, I do recall going to the very first conventions and uh, being struck by that and also of course they weren't mm, a representational slice even of the male population they were they were early otaku really they were uh, in the modern sense of otaku they were really focused uh, almost fanatically dedicated to to what they loved now, it's interesting for me to go to cons because it's a much more normal slice of American population. And I, I have this theory, and I don't know whether you would agree with me or not, but uh, the anime fandom, in the United States at least, it's almost assumed a life of its own, and it's almost becoming an autonomous subculture uh, that's not 100% linked to Japan anymore. In other words, it, the fandom here is, it depends on Japan to a certain extent, but not the way it did before. And a lot of the, the younger fans, they, they're just enjoying their own fandom. They've created something that's, that's moving on its own. It's, it's, it's on a different vector, let's put it that way. So almost a kind of a fan of the convention culture versus just the medium of anime. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And and also it, it's just wonderful actually to come to conventions now and and you see young people. It's it's a much more representative slice of of young uh, youth culture and far more. I don't know what the the ratio is, but in some areas it's getting next to a 50-50 split between males and females. And I think that's wonderful. And everybody's so well behaved. I, I'm <laughs> always struck by that. Uh, people are still focused and dedicated, and, and in, in, a way, in a way, they're still part of a, a, a very unusual slice of, of youth culture. But they're they're all really well behaved. If I were, if I had children who were, you know, 16, 17, I wouldn't worry about them going to an uh, animation convention, an anime convention at all. Uh, it's not a representative slice on that sense because mm -hmm. if you took a representative slice of like the Bay Area in California, you'd probably have you know gunfire erupting before <laughs> the evening's over. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the questions we always like to ask everyone too is 
do you have something you like wish more conventions would do or vice versa something you wish they would do less mm. I like to see m more people drawing personally mm -hmm. and there are more people doing their own artwork and that sort of thing um, in Japan of course a lot of the conventions are focused on the doujinshi yeah, yeah like kamike kamike yeah and, and that's when you talk about conventions in Japan. That's what it is. It's uh, you know, self-published zines, the zine culture, basically. And I think that's really cool. And it would be neat if there was there were more kind of anime, uh, manga-related zines here. I think. But then there are cultural aspects that make that difficult. You know, ranging from copyright laws to <laughs> to just uh, you know culture and whatnot. Um, that's one thing that would be kind of nice to see. But um, you know, it's, it's just great to see people getting together and, and sharing something. And uh, another question that's one of our favorites is, do you have a particular favorite convention memory, either something that just went really well or something that caught you completely by surprise and has always been a fond memory? I have to say, uh, I'm a fan of Otakong. <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, yeah. butter up the... Uh, the organization that we're at right now, but uh, I really enjoy going to Otokon in Baltimore when I when I've been there, and and just to see how it's such a diverse group of people, and and everybody seems to be having fun. I'm sure the organizers sweat bullets, and I'm sure it's really tough, but it, it looks if you look at it from the outside, it seems like people are having a huge amount of fun. Right, um, and finally. Where can people find more about what you're up to? Um, my website is a good place to go. It's uh, jai2.com, J-A-I, number two, dot com. And people ask me, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, it means a variety of things, but it's basically just anything interesting. J-A-I <laughs> squared uh, to the power of two. But unfortunately, superscripts don't translate into domain <laughs> names, so it's just jai2.com. <laughs> just anything interesting. I, 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 I like it a lot. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time no, to speak no, no. with us, and no. we look forward no. to seeing what more uh, panels and other yeah. information you'll be bringing to different conventions. If you have time, uh, come to my panel tomorrow. All right. Then I have one on Sunday, too, so. Great. It's like panels. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot.